Hey everybody and welcome back to Out of the Package. Um, today I got a little something different for you. We're not going to do cards today, we're going to do some toys. Um, I recently got in some um, action figures that um, some are going into a collection, some are going to be sold, um, but most of them are going to be open because the packaging is subpar. There's maybe a couple that I won't open, but let's uh, open a couple action figures and see what they're all about. The first one that we have is X-Men X-Force Deadpool. This mask off. There's the back. Everybody remembers these from when we were kids. Come out 95 Toy Biz product. This package it actually isn't as bad as some of the others even though there's a little separation down here. We're going to probably leave this one in the package. Um, the, the, this one's going to go up for sale, so if anybody's interested, let me know. The second one is X-Men Uncanny Sabretooth. Uh, the card's coming apart down here at the bottom. It's really kind of loose. So we're going to open this one. The Uncanny X-Men. It's been poked through. Somebody's pinned it on a wall. The reason we're going to open these is because they are going to be for sale. They're going to go up on eBay. Some of them are. Um, and it's best sometimes to sell them um, like, like brand new instead of in the package. Not only sometimes do they sell more, but you don't have to worry about um, returns back through eBay. So there's this one. We're going to open it up. See how loose that was. It's literally about to fall off the bubble. There's a card. Psylocke. It's even got tape on the card. Then the saber tooth toy. Mint, mint, mint. Sabretooth stand on his own. Maybe, maybe not. Probably going to fall down off there. Make a pile of trash down here. The third one. It's X-Men Wolverine 3rd Edition. It's actually about, it's been glued. It's coming off, so we're going to open it up too. Excalibur. Oh, they thought it was a good idea to put tape on these back in the day. So here we have Wolverine. Mint.
Next we have X-Men X-Force Cable. Ultra Assault Cable. Again, you see the wearing. This is all tore up. The bubble's loose. Um, sound, it feels like it's just about to come apart. So, oh, we knocked over. Let's put him over there. Keep him out of the way. Big oaf. Oh yeah, that was literally about to fall off. The little card we got there, Pyro. This is a set of cards I'd like to open a box of as a 94 Fleer Ultra X-Men cards. These are beautiful cards too. Seems like those 94, 95 cards, kind of hard to beat them. They were all really pretty. Um, that's just, I mean, that is just a nice looking card. Well, there we have a vintage and complete um, cable. Um, and the cool thing about even collecting action figures outside of the package is you can still have them graded. If they're in good enough shape, they can come in graded, uh, you know, and be worth more out of the package and graded than they were in the package. All right, that's your one reprieve there, Rhino, you big goofball. Next we have X-Men Brood. A little loose. This one's actually in not bad shape, but we don't want to ship these and get them busted and then have to do refunds and returns and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. I was never very versed in the brood or what the brood was about. Um, I know that it had something to do with uh, swarms and stuff like that. There's another one of those 94 Fleer Ultra. That's Deadpool. It's a cool looking card. We'll put brood over here next to you. Rhino. Next we have Batman, the Bold and Brave. Um, now this one is secure. The, the bubble's nice and tight. You can feel it if there's any shutter in the bubble. But have a bad crease there. You know, it's not a hot salt after toy in this condition. We also have two classic Ninja Turtles. 
Leonardo and Raphael uh, classic collection from I think 2010 or 2012 2013 these are actually in pretty good shape um, I, I don't want to open them up just because they are in good shape even though they have holes in them um, I'll leave these in the package for now We have Spider-Man Web Slasher Doc, Doc Ock in the package. He's about to come off the bubble. Very heavy toy. Um, and that's something else you run into with some of the newer toys is they're so heavy that they, they actually are detrimental to their own packaging. And this is definitely one that that is. There is a lot to this toy, um, so I'm actually not going to take him out of his plastic. I'm just going to kind of set him to the side. Um, I'll work on that one later because it's got about 20 different twist ties, um, and I don't feel like fooling with that. We're getting to the bottom of our box. Let's see. Deluxe Batman. Got all kinds of... Neat little gadgets as Batman do. But again, it's tore, it's ripped, the bubble is loose. So we're just gonna oh, go ahead and open it up and just let it breathe. Again, this <laughs> this one's kind of like Dr. Ock. There's a lot to this, so I'm actually just gonna open it and set it to the side. Um, And I'll work on getting it out later. I'll give you a good shot of it. Not a bad looking action figure. We got tri Transformer Cyberverse, Power of the Spark, Sonic Swirl. Um, the bubble's actually pretty in good and intact, and that one's not in bad shape. Um, this sticker would come off real easy. It's a price tag on it. Bought these in a big bundle lot. Um, I'm going to leave that one in the package too. Um, I think it's in decent enough shape that it should remain so. Now here's a big one. This is <laughs> Electra. Um, I have to lift the camera so you guys can see. She's big. She comes with a like a tower to stand in with some cool looking uh, weapons and some different arms it's a good looking toy the package is shot completely shot um, there's holes in the packaging um, so she's gonna get opened up um, there's even a whole different half a body in there um, I think I'm gonna leave this one in the package for now even though it will get opened, there's a lot to keep track of there. And I'm not <laughs> equipped at the moment to organize these the way they need to be. Um, we have Sentry, Marvel Legends Sentry, um, with a part for the Giant Man. Um, this one's shot too. Um, again, I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to, but not right at the moment because... There's a lot inside there that I want to make sure gets in the right place. And honestly, I can't open <laughs> Marvel Legends. You can't open with your hands. Have to have something a little sharper. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of here. Thundercats from the anime series. Is 2008, I think. Oh, 2011.
sort of came out. But there's Mumra. And last, certainly not least, Lion O. shape complete well there you have it there's my first out of the package toy edition um want to thank um mammoth Picology for coming through with these today um they'll be uh on his ebay um mammoth Picology. check him out he's always adam always gets some really amazing stuff he really does um check him out if you're ever looking for specific items or gifts he, he gets stuff from all over the place um i hope you enjoy this was this was a little different it was a little different for me um i didn't know what i was opening so i didn't know how to talk about a lot of it but um you know there's something to be said about these old these especially the older ones you know taking them out of the package you, know, you have to remember there were tens of millions of them made tens of millions um you know, those old X-Men action figures, even still in the package, not even worth 10 bucks most of the time. So, um, you know, you have to really find some special stuff to get money back out of it. Everybody thinks old action figures are worth a lot of money, and some of them are, but for the majority, they're not. They're like a, a moderate amount. Um, but if uh, you want to see more videos like this, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, um, subscribe. Um, check out the rest of uh, Geek Gorilla TV um, let us know how we're doing let us know what we can do better um, everybody have a good evening <laughs>